So the last time I made a video about books that have changed my life was in 2018 and now it's 2020. I've read so much more books. I've gained so much more knowledge. I've become a more knowledgeable person overall. And I think, you know, I wanted to make, this is like the perfect time for me to make a video on books that have changed my life as we're all in quarantine and we should be reading so much more. And um, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. So let's get on to the books that have changed my life. So I started reading books back when I was in grade 10. So when I was 15, so this is like, wow, five years ago. This is crazy, wow, time is flying. But five years ago, I started reading books and my life has never been the same. You know, my mentor, uh, Brandon Carter, is someone who influenced me to start reading books. And uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People was like one of the first books I read. Same with Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. And you know, those books have had a impact in my life. But overall, all the books I'm about to share with you today, like they've had a huge, huge impact in my life, whether it be giving that one insight that, you know, sparks an idea in my mind or giving me some giving me some knowledge that helps me manipulate, not, not manipulate, operate better in business. And overall, guys, like these books, if you really read them, it will change your life as well. So let's get to the books that changed my life. So the first book, whenever someone asks me, you know, hey, what's your favorite book? The one book I always recommend no matter what, and I sadly don't have the physical copy of it, but it is in my Kindle right there. However, the book is influenced by Robert Cialdini. And let me tell you something, guys, read this book it doesn't matter what industry you're in like it doesn't matter what you do with your life read this book there is something about knowing human psychology and knowing human behavior that i honestly think i have an advantage over a lot of people because i understand that right like that's what i tell people as well like i, I i'm not smarter than you it's just i understand humans i understand how humans operate i understand the things that you know trigger certain emotions trigger <clears throat> I know how to influence humans in one way or another, you know what I mean? Like, not through tricks, but through things that have just, that, that, like, like little, little things like reciprocity, you know what I mean? Like, I understand the true power of reciprocity. I understand the true power of social proof, where normal people don't. And I think uh, just you understanding these six weapon of influence will just make you a better persuader, make you a better salesman, make you a better employee. And I just think that, this book like literally could has the potential to change your life and um yeah influence is my favorite book even charlie munger the og you know he loves influence he actually talks about influence a lot whenever uh in his book actually he he, ta he doesn't stop talking about influence actually and speaking of the second book this is my second favorite book and let me get a thumbnail moment right here as well boom but basically, this is my second favorite book, or I wouldn't say second, but this is up there, right? And by the way, this is not in like a, like, it's not like top 10 or whatever. It's just books that helped me out. But Charlie Munger's book, um, it is awesome. It's like hundred something dollars. I completely forgot. But all I know from, you know, this book, I learned the 25 cognitive biases. And same thing again, it's literally human psychology, right? Like 25 things that basically might make humans misjudge certain things and he actually talks a lot about influence in this book as well and that's why i say influence is such a good book but man charlie munger's book i have nothing more to say the 25 cognitive biases i actually study them so much and i study them consistently because i really want to understand these 25 cognitive biases that you know might make a human misjudge something and like i said another way another thing that you can learn to become a someone that has a better influence amongst the people you know that you're trying to influence right whether it be through sales calls whether it be through for your own kids your friends family this book will teach you a lot and i think it's a must uh, read for a lot of people actually i should say everybody another book that changed my life was obstacle is the way by ryan holiday uh, one of the dopest books ever it's just something I, I you know at one point in my life i used to listen to it once a month so every month i would actually go ahead and uh just listen to the audible version of it and it just helps you a lot during hard times really just making you understand like you know the true power of going through like rough times uh, how it is actually a blessing in disguise how the obstacle in the path becomes the path and i can talk so much more about it but obstacle is the way read it especially if you're going through some tough times in your head it is one of the books that will really make sure you know keep your mindset in check another book that actually i've never shared with anyone but th this is actually one of my favorite books of all time right here it's called the magic of oh my god focus 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 oh 
The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. I think this book is like very, very old, but I, I don't remember who recommended this book for me, but I remember Keyshawn, Keyshawn Johnson Sanders, AKA K-Rock is one of the guys that, uh, shout out K-Rock by the way, is one of the guys that actually uh, recommended this book. And this is a book I li usually listen to whenever I'm working out as this book just puts you in an elevated mindset, just p makes you just think at a higher level. And even though this book is, you know, so old, the knowledge in there, the value in there, the information in there is timeless. And um, like I said, for the mindset especially, it is really, really good. And it is a book that I think everybody should check out or I, I would listen to it, man. I love listening to, th to this book when I work out to a point where even after I'm done reading this book, I mean, listening to this book, I'll listen to it again. I just love hearing, you know, just positive wisdom from this person, David Schwartz. And just like the power of thinking big and i you know i just made a video on raise your standards and overall this book um is that a huge impact in my mindset and also just keeping me in check especially when i'm working out another book that has changed my life is relentless by uh what was his name tim grover uh the former tr personal trainer of michael jordan Dwayne wade kobe bryant rest in peace and overall you know so many successful entrepreneurs and basketball players this book is one of those books that just gets you in the mood to just kill, especially being a basketball fan like me. I love the book so much as, um, you know, when I was reading it, I was like, damn, like he's telling basketball stories and I'm, you know, me being a big basketball fan, like it made me pay attention. And overall, it just shows you the mindset that, you know, true winners have, like winners like Kobe Bryant, winners like Michael Jordan, like that, that drive they have, it really talk, goes deep into the mindset that they had that really helped them dominate the game and really make sure that they were on top of their thing at the end of the day. So Relentless, really good book. Check it out right now. Another dope book is uh, 48 Laws of Power by, um, I completely forget these guys name, but it's Robert Greene. But 48 Laws of Power, one of the most classic books of all time. I actually, oh, it's actually right there. I'm not gonna pick it up because I don't want to, but 48 Laws of Power, literally right there. One of the best books ever written every, Everybody literally like has read it. It is something you should read so you don't get manipulated. It's, it's like one of those things you should just read, you know, it's a very manipulated book as you can use what you learn and apply it to real life and kind of manipulate people. But also it's good to know so you don't get manipulated by like that. You get what I mean? So I just ha know the laws, you know, I know certain laws and I, I practice certain laws every day, but I also read certain laws and don't put it into action, but just, are aware of it because I understand that, you know, if I know it at least, people can't use it against me because I will see through their bullshit and I'll see where they're trying to, you know, use their power against me, right? So 48 Laws of Power, dope book. I mean, everybody's read it. I will check it out as well. And right after 48 Laws, you know, um, Robert Greene actually made a book with uh, 50 Cent and it's called uh, The 50th Law. And they go deep, deep, deep into... 50 cent story uh you know growing up as a drug dealer not only and, and as as a successful rapper but not only that but they talk about fear a lot and it's a book i read when i was 15 you know helped me out a lot uh you know some of the some of the lines there are just straight bars the wisdom there is just amazing and you know 50 cents someone i really look up to and respect ever since i was young so this book really really um well, it was really engaging. It was good to see 50 Cent's story, but also just how they related to a lesson and, you know, just talking about fear and um, just a book you really should check out if, you know, fear is something you want to learn a little bit more about or if you're interested in just learning a little bit more about 50 Cent. Of course, the book How to Win Friends and Influence People had to be on the list. Um, everybody and their mother has read this book for a reason, of course, because, you know, this book is one of the craziest books out there that has changed lives, right? It shows you how to become a better communicator, how to improve your social skills. And back when I was in high school, back when I was 15, this book helped me a lot, uh, you know, when it comes to socializing as I was going to a new school and just meeting people was harder for me. But this book basically allowed me to be more open, have better social skills. And overall, this book is not only good for just social skills, but it goes for sales, team building, and it just has so much wisdom. Like I said, a very old book, but with just timeless knowledge. So something that everybody should read. Another book that is very old, but also timeless is Think and Grow Rich. And I read something recently about how Napoleon Hill was a scammer or like he actually never met Andrew Carnegie. And that might be true, right? But the thing is, his book, the information in there has helped so many people out. It's helped out 
millions of millions of people and he's in, has even affected me at the end of the day. So I just think that, uh, you know, Thinking Grow Rich is a book that everybody should read. There's a lot of good chapters in that book that a lot of people, you know, don't really take into account how important it is, like the power of the subconscious mind, the power of your thoughts. Just a book I think you guys should check it out. Another book as well is The One Thing. Uh, I read this book twice and both times it really just helped me refocus my focus into one thing instead of me focusing on you know 15 different things and a, a quote from that book that would kind of summarize that book is a man who chases two rabbits catches none and that tells you a lot about you you know your day-to-day -day life your day-to-day -day actions your day-to-day -day focus so if you're chasing two different things three different things five different projects five different businesses you you know you won't succeed with anything there's a reason I'm the email guy right I only like do emails for a reason. So um, another great book you should check out. It'll just help you, um, you know, figure out what you should be focusing on and just like help you refocus your focus at the end of the day. And the last book I'm gonna talk about in this video, and I might even make a 2.0 version of this, but the last book that's had a big impact recently for me at least is uh, Digital Minimalism, right? Uh, Digital Minimalism is a book by Cal Newport and it just talks a lot about social media, quitting social media, like the importance of not using your phone as much. And, you know, a big pandemic that we have in the world right now that no one's talking about is how severely people are addicted to their phones, how social media is ruining a lot of people's life, you know, how addicted people get to social media. And um, I mean, you know, I'm not going to sit here and talk shit about people when I am also addicted to social media. My family is, anyone I know is on social media a lot. So this book just kind of helps you like get away from that world, makes you think in a different way. Just a good knowledge to have when it comes to understanding like the true power of the social media and how like it can really, really mess you up and the importance of actually, you know, being minimalistic with how you use your technology and how you use your, uh, use your devices. And um, just a really good book, man. Really check it out. Um, you know, almost feels weird preaching a book that talks about using social media less where when my business is well built off of social media. But, you know, at the end of the day, in the long run, your mental health matters more than something short term, right? So... Yeah, that is a book that I think you should definitely check out. So all the books I talked about in this video, I'm gonna link, leave a link uh, below. I'm gonna put an Amazon link and I'm of course gonna put my affiliate link, right? Cause why not? I'm gonna make some money off of it. And in this video, I might look high as hell, but I'm not as this is, it is 4.30 in the morning and I don't know what it is, but I have a tendency of making YouTube videos in the morning, especially early morning or late night. So um, yeah, I am not high. Yeah, I may look high guys, but it is 4.30 in the morning and I'm making this video. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. You already know what's up. I love you all so much. You guys have shown me so much support. Um, the daily uploads, man. You know, people watch it. And the thing is, people watch this video to the end, man. I love you guys so much. Anyone that watches it till the end. Uh, and today, you know what? If you guys watch it till the end, comment, make it splash. Uh, you guys can't see it, but this thing right here. Oh, let's see if it focuses. Oh, focus, focus. Yeah, this won't focus, but this basically says make it splash. So if you guys watch it till the end, write in make it splash so I know who the real ones are, the ones that are really, you know, here with me since day one. Because let me tell you guys something, man. This channel's going to blow up this year. And um, I want all of you guys, the, you know, the early ones that have been supporting me to be a part of the success. And I want to be, be able to help people as m much as I can. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love y'all. I'm about to make some more videos, so I might be wearing the same shirt in the next video. But anyways, have a great day. Love y'all. Peace out. Stay blessed. Stay safe as well during this pandemic. And yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.